Good day. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Sunglasses on today. The sky is blue. It's reasonably warm. T-shirt on. You can't beat it. And today, I'm in Wales, and I'm in Rill. Now, this used to be many, many years ago. It was the hot spot for British tourists, youngsters, want to go on holiday and party, party, party. So I've come to Rill today to find out how it is in this day and age. A bit story, some say it's horrible now, some say it ain't too bad, but we're going to find out and you're going to find out with me, so let's go. There we go. One thing I do like about really is the parking it was two hours, uh, <laughs> two pound for three hours in that one there. That's where I am. As you can see, my Honda. Now this is real town hall, party night higher. There you go, capacity 348 seat, 250 standing, two dressing rooms with raked stage lighting and sound system. Okay, and that's the town hall. Mmm, very nice too. And some conveniences there if you get caught short, which we all do, don't we? Well, it's quite an attractive church there, but unfortunately, the bulk of it's obscured by that refrigerated wagon. I'm sure, when it moves, I'll get a better shot of it. It's one of the little streets. Looks a bit tatty, doesn't it? Mmm. It's the first time I've ever been to Rill. I must have, I've never been here before. Uh, I've no idea where the sea is. <laughs> I know it's nearby. Because I can hear a lot of seagulls, or I could. The Ask Centre, there you go. If you want to ask anything, get yourself in there and ask. That's pinky colours. There we go, there's your Islamic Cultural Centre. And a fine building it is too. In it. Yeah, very nice. Bow, 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 don't know. But it's shot. Mario Land Limited Grocery Shop. That's Polish and Romanian. Okay, good, good. And the Cove. Live entertainment. Karaoke. That's what you're expecting a seaside town. Places like that. Rendezvous looks a bit of a dump. In fairness. This is a bit tatty, covered in bird poo. Chofu kebab house, just as the sea's missing. Bye master. He loves places like this, he loves them. Um, Jolly's Grills and Pizza. Yeah, needs a bit of attention up there, doesn't it? It's looking pretty sad. That satellite dish must be very old. They're not that size anymore, are they? They're a lot smaller than that. But most places don't have salad dishes now. It's all wires and stiff. Hmm. What have we got here? Little pub, free house. Ellis's bar. Looks like you can probably stay there as well. Don't think I particularly want to. Little Italy pizza. Wow. Yeah, now this building looks pretty grand. Ah, North Wales Women's Centre. Okay. Nice building there. Looks quite spectacular. Looks like a lot of the premises are empty. Um, I don't know whether they're still guest houses. There's no advertising outside, so I can't tell. It's bringing a load of crap out, so I don't know. This looks smart though. Like it.
couple of minutes into the video. What do you reckon? What do you think? Yeah. Be honest. Plenty more to see yet. Now we're pretty sure the sea's in that direction. There's May's Perkyo catalog between Central Car Park. View, I'm not sure what that is. Or SC2. There's Cookhouse Pub. Measure amusements, there you go. Get yourself in there with your pennies. Two peas, 10 pence pieces, 50 pence pieces, and waste them all away. <laughs> nah, scroll that. It's all good fun, isn't it? Castino Lounge. Les Harkers. Monte Carlo Amusements. Lots of amusements. That must be, I shouldn't make fun of a place like this because as a kid, this is the sort of place I would love to spend hours and hours in there. Now I'm an adult. I love things like that. <laughs> Look at that Porsche. Whoa, yes, please. No. Helter Skelter. Mm. And the cafe, it's closed. What a shame. Groovy music. There we go. Sea Aquarium, Prestatin, my go there next. Lovely. Let's go up there and have a look up there, eh? There's your real tourist information centre, just on the edge of the Fun Fair, which is totally and utterly deserted. Simulators, they are great to go in, they really are. Tasty milkshakes here, tasty milkshake. Shut. <laughs> I don't know what time you open or when the season starts, I really don't know. But um, there's nothing here now, nobody here either. Don't know why this is all fenced off. Oh, it's not, you can get in over there. I think it's toilets, I think it's just uh, conveniences. The usual fun fairy type stuff. Nothing out of the ordinary, all sorts of rides and things you expect on a fun fair. A very, very nice Toyota truck. Mm. And the ocean. The beautiful, beautiful ocean. Pymas is heading for the sea. I think right over there in the distance, you know, hills, you can see them hills over there. I think that's Land Dodno. It's where I was the other day. But I like Wales so much, I've come back. Lots of an adult. Hmm, doesn't look too dangerous, does it? Well, it's not busy, is it? I look cool with my shades on, though, don't I? Come on, admit it. Real. Ooh. Ah, the beach is sand here and pebbles. Not like London, though, where it's all huge pebbles. Look. Lovely. Lots of little markers out in the ocean there. Don't know what they are. It might be the depth, I don't know. There's a wind farm over there in the distance. Now, is that in the water or what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now, there is, there is land between quite a way. It's the Atlantic Ocean, by the way. Like I said before, lovely smell. Sea air, can't beat it. There you go. Not exactly your uh, Olympic sized swimming pool. In fact, I very, very much doubt that's a swimming pool at all. Probably when it opened, 
don't know what's covered up there probably some sort of control systems for little boats that's what I think little boats not open yet I don't know how far in the season you have to be to find this little fun fair open a little place where you can just sit and watch the kids enjoy themselves for a few hours while well, you have a few San Miguel tinnies which you bought with you like any sensible adult would Hello Nessie There we go, on the prom, Sea Aquarium Don't think it's open, but there's something else to go and see when it is If it was open, I would be in there Unfortunate, it isn't A slush factory, mix and match your own flavour All these right close to the seaside Buckets and spades, ice cold drinks The fish cabin here is actually setting up So I don't know how far off the season they are when they're going to start opening up everything but the fish cabin is going to be open very shortly hi buddy when does the season start which time wit oh wit normally yeah but uh oh, they right. be very much this year why they're closing oh. the whole promenade for two and a half years oh christ are they what for refurbishment they're um, doing coastal defense work oh good grief so they're hanging this by about like one and a half, two metres. Oh, wonderful. So you lose all your business well, while they do some them. coastal defence work, work. They're demolishing them. Oh, good grief. Oh, dear. Oh, I am sorry. And, there's well, and how long have you been here all your life? Um, well, I've, I've had the business for 56 years. Oh, good I've grief. Only for, since, since I retired in 1994. Oh, good God. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. So, in which we come back here, none of this will be here. I, I, I would think they'll be here in September. Yeah. Knowing the, how they work. But, they, I mean, they wanted to demolish them in February. Um, oh, but, God. You know, um, their timeline's changing all the time. You know, they're, yeah. they're starting in different areas. Would you get any sort of compensation for this? Are they actually paying it's, you for your business? I'm getting some, but it's not enough. Nothing to what but the business is it's worth. It's never enough, but it's not. No, it's not reasonable. Uh, oh, that's a shame. Time, uh, by the time you have to go through court and everything else, yeah, you spent twenty-five thousand pounds trying to get. You know, oh, wow. as far as the council concerned, they got bottomless pockets, haven't they? Well, the council don't care, do they? Yeah. They'd rather well, make money out of somebody else's misery, which they do on a regular basis. Yeah, uh, that's a I crying think, shame. I do feel sorry I for think you. They'll replace them f for Dampshire Leisure, which is like council. What a surprise. Um, she, the lady next door is in her 40s. She's got like three kids. And um, she's only had them since just before the pandemic. Yeah. And within seven, seven weeks, they've turned around and said, uh, we're giving you um, compulsory purchase. So I'm thinking, well, she did oh. searches and so on in buying it. She's invested money. Yeah. And they're going to done that to her. You know, and she's like, I don't Side know the legalities of that, but they will affect. They'll know a loophole. They will be. They'll be. They're doing it legitimately, mm. but they'll be making the cash. Well, as, as landlords, they have a duty to the um, tenant. I'm, I've said to her, you know, you've got to. Uh, but uh, again, she says, well, it's going to cost me twenty five, thirty thousand pounds to take them to court. It'll take eighteen months plus, and oh, you know, by the time is, is it worth? It? I need to move on. You know, yeah, that's unfortunately. Yeah, so. On a time scale, yeah, is it worth it? Yeah. It depends what they've offered you, but then again, it's criminal. It's just criminal. Yeah. I do I feel so sorry for you. I'm going to move on. I'm actually I, on YouTube. I do various places uh, the YouTube. Yeah. Put them on my channel, and people discuss what they think about the places, what's happening. Yeah. And uh, that's why I'm here today. I actually live in Macclesfield. All right. I went to Landodno a couple of days ago, which is brilliant come here because everyone says it's so run down it's really bad but from what I've seen it doesn't look half as bad as people make out I mean there was, a, there was a, an article in the Telegraph two or three weeks back uh, saying it was like number five out of a hundred for seaside resorts and everyone was saying oh you know they, they run down real and it's smack city and all the rest of it but in point of fact the article was decrying the county council yeah and saying that over the years the, the moves they made are, are, are so poor that they've not generated tourism. Yeah. And um, a week later, the chief executive officer was defending himself 
oh, we've put money into community this and we've got youth um, hostels here yeah and it was the wrong kind of sort of defense you know th there's no industry yeah all you've got is tourism it's tourism yeah for yeah. about 30 years it was a rich town yeah it was really popular when i was young this was the, it was the go-to place yeah every youngster wanted to come to real because it was a party party capital you know it was yeah. brilliant but i mean all right a lot's dependent on the weather the biggest asset they've got is the beach yeah but in the marine time if the, if the weather's not pleasant enough to take them on the beach they need to do something else yes you don't yeah. need a mortgage to go into sc2 or this you need to do small things that are, are not cost yeah you know, cost them a fortune and it's it's a question of it's gone down because of that oh well there you have it from a resident on the beachfront that is a crime well done council you just horrors absolute horrors now with the hoxa superstore big brands big savings toilet roll they're gonna need a lot of that because above it is sh you know what <laughs> that's a mess isn't it that's a mess Ooh, yuck well the hotels don't look too bad yeah nicely decorated however as we just found out this one is closed to the public guess why i think you can guess judging by the bikes outside i just seen one smoking at the door and by the smell of it he was smoking weed it reeked so yep unless it is home to the public and the hotel don't mind their guests standing on the doorway smoking pot i very much doubt that all the windows are open and yeah they're not looking bad at all crying shame about the promenade they're going to bulldoze all that property all those businesses will go and it's heartbreaking it was nice of that guy to talk to me and let me know he had no objection to me filming whatsoever which is what we love and here like Landudno they have little fairy tale buildings and the grey and white lovely let's wander through the town have a look at some of the shops go away from the seafront you couldn't get on the beach actually because uh, all, all the entrances to the beach were fenced off beach is better, is it? yeah the beach is lovely here oh these are nice look, look at that look at that look at that lovely false ivy really makes you look good no vacancies now not being funny but no vacancies it's either closed or it's housing you know what shame so real you're not looking too bad some of the houses look brill and that's because I've been to architecture I love buildings that are different and these all look different God, I still smell cannabis oh it's like being back in Mac <laughs> Here we go, posh bit of real. Look at these houses, they look grand. Three stories, look absolutely lovely. And here's the solicitors. More for haul, I don't know what that is. Looks pretty splendid though. And there's your solicitors. This is why solicitors cost you so much. They have palatial great offices like that to do the business from. Marvellous, isn't it? All right. Mmm. Like it. Look at that one. Nice little corner plot. <laughs> oh, that's, that's beautiful, that is. That cost a few pennies, that will. Mm. 
very nice. Go to a church. So many years ago when I lived I lived in Germany, believe it or not. My dad was in the army, so I did spend, spend some time in Germany. And this reminds me a lot of the streets in Germany. Apart from the army quarters where we lived. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Splendid, splendid, lovely little balcony up there, yes, very pretty. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> was that before or after he poisoned himself? <laughs> the fall, all for love as well, you don't want to do that for love. Me love foot, he says he'd do anything for love. But then he does say, but I won't do that. And I think that was the taking poison bit. He wouldn't do that for love. Brilliant. The size of the spine in that church. Look at the size of that. As you can see, it's gone cloudy now. I think it's time to take my sunglasses off, otherwise I won't see where I'm going. And we don't want that, do we? Just opposite the church is where they practice dentistry, the dental practice. They practice, do you know what, the seagulls here are bloody enormous. Whether they're on steroids or what, I don't know, but they're huge. Nice balcony. Bye Master. I was thinking about going in the church, but I've just noticed there's a big gig grid gate across it and it's shut so I won't be going in there whoops oh, never mind I think that's Wildersport Ales for sale another sad fact of society today pubs closing all over the country apart from your big conglomerates Weatherspoons um, and others. <laughs> oh, bakery, cakey, cakeys. Here we go, main shopping part, the grill. This place will be busy. A lot of pigeons up there in that window. <laughs> Obviously, nothing else in there now, they're living in it. Sorry, mate. Look at that. Pigeon Hotel. Shame. Another church down there. That's at least two churches in real. And there's where you go when you want to go shopping. Here's the main high street. What do you think of it? Oh, there's some police. Head loop. Police! What's going on there then? What's he done? What's he done? Yeah, I don't know what that was, but look at that. Got the grass overhanging the side, the roof must be rotten. There's pigeons on the roof and the pigeons are inside it as well. Now, premises below is obviously shut. That'll be full of pigeon poop. I'm going to wander down here, have a look. Here we have. Battle of the Weight Loss Shops, Greg's Pound Bakery. Mm -hmm. Very nice. As you can see, Poundland, half price sale. Everything is 50p. 
that's a bargain. Cat factory. They never close anywhere. Yeah. Oh, what happened to that man? Hello, Tudor. Oh, God, never mind, never mind. Pigeons and seagulls. Great for our environment. <laughs> Mind you, they've got to go somewhere. They've got to go somewhere. We buy gold. I bet you do. <laughs> the Piazza restaurant looks very nice, very red. Very reminiscent of KFC restaurants. Uh, oh, that's nice, that is nice. Yeah. He's looking after more renovation work. At least they're doing something to renovate some of these buildings. There's a KFC. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a KFC. There's a KFC. I ain't going to places and all you find is tons and tons of McDonald's. I don't eat junk food, that's why I eat KFC. That's right, Nilas? Oh, yeah. Family bucket. Family bucket. Oof. I won the other night. Ah. Love to be healthy, I do. Mmm. We're almost back where we started. Ooh, what are they done to that? Look at, look at that area, look at that area up there. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't know areas like that still existed. <laughs> the Welsh Rock and Gift Shop. Oh yeah. Everything you need for the beach, if you could get on it. Look at these big balls. <laughs> Look at the size of them boys. Look at that. Oh, they're soft as well. Very bouncy. Very bouncy. See, one gust of wind on the beach, kick that ball and bye bye, it's gone forever. <laughs> oh, there's a Hoxha Superstore with a really, really dilapidated building above it. Looks alright down here. So, look, eh? Hoxha Superstore? Yeah, looking good. A bit like a b and It's just up there. You. There we go. And Casino Corner. And a pile more crap. Mm. Now that we're near to where we started, so I think we're going to make our way somewhere else now. But real's not as bad. It is made out to be. I spend time here on holiday in the decent weather. You always got this. <laughs> <laughs> 